right now it's really late it's actually past midnight so i actually got home and completely forgot to film the outro for this video i didn't even have time to film an intro today because i was in a hurry to get out um but yeah i need to at least do an outro if i did not do an intro so as I showed you guys I was actually going to go to the South London Art Gallery but it was kind of long to get to so I decided to go to the Camden's Art Centre which isn't too far I can get a direct tube from where I work to Hampstead which was one of the nearest stations that I could walk to from there to pick this up they didn't have a little leaflet for the exhibitions but um so yeah this is kind of just a little booklet for containing talks events and the exhibitions going on at the same time so i thought i'll pick it up anyway since it um contained the little short snippet of information is it going to focus I think it's focused but um yeah so the first exhibition I went into was by Jonathan Bulldog called Face Crime so from the video you could see it was quite an interactive display um exhibition display where you could like walk into this room full of um matted carpet material I guess as carpet on the ground and you walk through and you hear these um sounds I don't know how to describe them um but it did remind me of uh what was it I went to the museum the other day which kind of had that similar thing but yeah that kind of uh mythological maybe kind of feel that kind of um yeah I don't know how to describe it actually yeah but kind of similar the, like kind of mythological aspects incorporated into the arts and explore the use of different materials as you source um the textiles like yarn and stuff incorporated with these um molds it was a combination of different arts all together in one piece um so what they say here because it's actually it's the exhibitions are at the canon art center are quite broad it's open to interpretation although there is a backstory to it obviously like it's not your regular art exhibition i would say so it does say it incorporate it's inspired by ancient Syrian cuneiform inscribed tablets so yeah like I said the mythological slash ancient type of um, culture incorporated into art and it pays homage to alternative history of clay as a tool of communication that stands the test of time the other exhibition at the art gallery was this is long I have to read it out from here um a tales of mother's bones by grace pelthorpe ruben mednikoff and the birth of cyclorealism um this was obviously a much more explicit exhibition the topics it talks about could be triggering in some sense it does talk a lot about gender um motherhood uh, the change in human body um, and a lot about relationships and stuff if you really take it in read all the little like uh, annotations it has to it um, there is a lot of meaning behind all the artworks besides the wacky craziness of the um, contemporary abstract art pieces that you're viewing like besides that there is a lot of meaning behind all of them when you really take it in adding such emphasis on these topics to bring out like all these different emotions to actually explore them in an art form and to express them in interesting ways i remember one of the 
set of art pieces was talking about children drawings and like the emotions and the thoughts and emotions of what a child may going be going through whilst creating this art piece let's say um yeah it went really into depth on the colors used well it was only black and white but explained the meaning behind it and also the way it's been applied on the art piece so it was very interesting actually um the whole that whole exhibition both exhibitions that i went to in that one art gallery was very interesting so i spent a little longer than i thought i would have so yeah thanks guys for watching this video this outro has been very long so comment down below what you like to see what you your thoughts on this video um like so i know you like this type of content and subscribe for more videos so thanks guys see you next time bye, bye.